Hi Lisa, how is what happens decided? What decides what happens? Hey Jerry. Thanks for your question, Jerry, but you really have to work that out for yourself. I can't tell you that. You can never talk in the positive about the creator. So you have to begin to explore what is experiencing this and where things come from. Like, where do thoughts come from? Where does action come from? Where does the impulse to do something come from? Where is all of this coming from? The sound of the breeze, the sound of the hum of the computer, the sound of my voice. And it's amazing that you're asking it, asking it, Jerry. There is thousands and thousands and billions and billions of humans that walk around asleep. They never even ask themselves this question. They're alive for 70, 80, 90, 100 years, and they never ask. Where does all of this come from? Where does my impulse to do this come from? So it's such a beautiful question, but I can't answer it for you. I mean, I can tell you it comes from beingness. It comes from isness. It comes from that sense of being, which is not a thing and everything. But that doesn't mean anything to you. The Jerry has to sit and explore it. So just follow back that which is arising and see if you can find it, where everything arises from. And then maybe there will be this point where it just goes poof, and uh, it's called an awakening, and there is this radical aliveness, and it's seen that everything's coming from not a place, from something beyond. Everything comes from this stillness and is this stillness. And this stillness is undescribable, but the best word that we could possibly use is love, love. It comes from love. So thanks for your question, Jerry.